I'm going to show you guys a simple and easy way to remove the background of a video. Well, this video, uh, without a green screen in Formula 12, it should be an easy process for you guys with the new updates that they've been putting out there. So I have Filmora pulled up right now. As you guys can see, here's the image. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to double click on that image and that's instantly going to drop or pull up this tab. What you want to do is you want to click on the video tab, go to AI tool. And instead of doing chroma key, like you would do if you want to remove the background, you know, with a green screen, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go down to smart cutout. Okay. So click the toggle smart cutout. And we're going to click on this tab right here. It's going to pull it up. Okay. So what we got is we got the smart brush and the easiest way to do that is to just go like this. Like I want my body and maybe the microphone. So we're going to do this. Okay. So it did take a couple of clicks there. I think with a little bit of separation between the background and myself, it will work out better. But as you can see, we have it select. Now let's say you made a mistake. You could go ahead and use the erased, which is very easy as well. Another kind of nice feature as well. It's like, let's say you just wanted the background. You want to crap your image out of it. Well, you can go ahead ahead and flip that around. So this would then erase myself and then keep the background. I want to just take out myself. You can preview it just in a transparent, how it would look in that sense. You could preview in a black overlay, just simple ways to do that. And you can also change the color of this to whatever you want. When you're going through and making your edits, you can change the brush size of it as well. I didn't do that for this. Uh, you can also change the edge thickness. So this is going to increase the center point of what you're trying to do. So another cool feature is that you can zoom in to a point that you want. So let's uh, do the hand tool, <laughs> go over to my ear. So you guys can see like the edge thickness, we could reduce or um, expand that. And then we could also edge feather, which as you guys can see, instead of making it a sharp image, it kind of blurs it out. And I kind of like doing that a little bit more. So let's go ahead and go back to fit. Now we kind of have set up the way that I would want. Let's go ahead and let's export this. The way you do that is by clicking on this. So it's going to go through and this is where the AI comes in. It's going to go through and track that. And then we can kind of put whatever background we want to this image. Image. And one thing I want to call out is the less movements you have, like with your hands and stuff, the better it's going to work. Uh, so if you don't move around a lot and if it's just like a point and shoot video, that's going to be a lot easier. And it's going to be a lot easier if you don't have something like a microphone in the way as well. Okay. So now it's done kind of going through the data. So click save and now it's good to go. As we can see, we do probably have a little bit too much of the the background in there uh, than I would typically like. So what you would do is you click back into it and maybe reduce the edge thickness back down uh, to 0%. You know, that, that would do the trick. And that got rid of it. As simple as that. So a fun thing that you can do is you can put any background to this now, obviously. So uh, Femora has a lot of ones there already. So I don't know. You could do a tropical background something like that. And there we have the background and it's pretty smooth for kind of the AI technology. That is very good. So this is kind of one application you can use it for. Let's say maybe you want to do something weird. Maybe you want to go ahead and repeat this scene out of Thor. And it's pretty funny that they submitted this video for like best picture and graphics. Interesting award. But this is actually kind of a simple thing that we can do uh, to literally replace this head. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. I'm going to get rid of this background. So obviously with my image, I want to reduce it. There we go. Let's just stretch this image out. I mean, already have it in place pretty well. So what we can do is we can actually add like an effect to it. Video effect, AI portrait. And then <laughs> what you could do is go neon trailing to add that on there. Click on it. Scroll down. We can change the color to that brown color that we see. Maybe increase the X shadow. Maybe increase the occupancy. There we have that. <laughs> it's already kind of standing out pretty well. Now that's decent. Not perfect. Uh, I remember I, I won't be able to do the eyes, but what you could do easily is you could toss in a mask over this now. So double click on the video again, click on mask. Let's go with circle. I'm going to increase the circle a little bit. There we go. And now we have a talking head in the Thor scene. And maybe we want to slap on one more weird kind of mask. You could do that and it instantly detects that. And now we can talk to Thor. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now, obviously, that was just one application of how you guys can use this. There's plenty of other ways that you can go ahead and use that. That is up for you guys and your creative brain. But thanks for watching. That's all I have for you for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give a like and subscribe.